What's going on? We back with another video. Your boy CJ Goodfella back with the boxing clinic. Checked out, uh, you know, fight hype. Um, came across my screen. You know, they keep close tabs on most boxers. And Adrian Broner is on uh, Instagram, you know, going crazy again. You know, really not going crazy, but just, you know, I let motherfuckers know that, uh, that he is the biggest star that Showtime PBC got when you don't equivalent uh, Floyd Mayweather. He was showing his uh his numbers with Gratados compared to the other major fights on Showtime this year, and um, really is no comparison. And um and it's hard for people to face the facts, and it's even hard for me to talk about that a guy like Adrian Broner is the most popular fighter on that Showtime PBC roster, PBC and whole, other than Floyd Mayweather, and um. Let's take a look at these numbers real quick. And, um, you know, Jack DeGale just did under 500000 454000 Frampton Cruz, uh, which I thought would have done more than 587000 because the first fight was so great. You know, then you got Berto, Berto Porter, Porter <laughs> excuse me, a little tired, 486000 views, all on free TV. Joshua Klitschko in the afternoon probably could have affected these numbers with 659000 but I, I just still don't see a lot of people stopping that day in America to, to at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock to watch that fight. So if it was at night, it could have did a little bit more better and rivaled the Browner number. But uh, still, it fell up short. It fell short. Uh, Junior and Escadon, uh, Russell Jr., I'm surprised that did 481,000. That, that's pretty high. Um, pretty much knowing, you know, Russell was a good fighter, but it's not a known commodity. Then Earl Spence did under 300K with Wakel Brook. Which was a hot fight amongst hardcores, but a dud versus uh, with casuals. But that was an afternoon. Could have hurt that a little bit. Five Far Stevenson did under 400k, 390k, and um, Bernard Gratados did 779,000 views. Now, you looking at these numbers and you say, "Well, Terence Crawford just did a million on HBO, and this guy did that." The European Invasion card did that. Um, you got to remember, HBO has more paid subscribers than Showtime does. A lot more. HBO is the premium pay subscription, um, by, uh, you know, regular TV network, pay prescription network, cable network. Um, head, shoulders, knees, toes above, Star, and Showtime, and, um, and Cinemax, whatever. They're the premium network still to this day. It's not because they got better boxing or they dish out more money for boxing. It's the simple fact that they just have more subscribers. They have more, they have more customers. And for Adrian Broner, he was doing crazy, way more crazier numbers on HBO. And that just proves that there. Um, that his numbers was more crazier versus lower uh, opponents. And Showtime don't have the subscribers. They're not number one in boxing as far as subscribe, as far as, you know, number one in, in, in you know, the cable network pay subscription. Not close to HBO. Look at the numbers. I'm pretty sure HBO is blowing them out when it comes to subscribers, better shows, better material, just better reputation. But it really pain. It could pain a lot of people, including me, that Adrian Broner is the biggest face of PBC. It pains you to know a guy who doesn't put all his his work in, you know, his all is does the most numbers. You know, he's not giving it his all apparently to him. And talent wise, like Paul and I, I might say it's a million, it's a hundreds, hundreds of thousand Adrian Broners in the gym. That he just so happens just to be able to get opportunity, but he's wasting it. But it's a lot of guys with more talent or just as ta just as much talent as him, but they don't have that exposure. But what sets him apart is his personality, his act. And that's the one thing that, you know, he got from Mayweather that pretty much he has mastered above everybody else. Keith Thurman, Earl Spence, his character that he's built, this A.B., a guy that's lost two times and doesn't have the talent or half the talent that Earl Spencer Keith Thurman has is the biggest fighter on the network, the biggest fighter on the PBC platform. And it pains people just to say it. It's paining me just to say it, but Showtime needs him. They need him because he pulls the biggest numbers on Showtime. He's the most popular fighter. If he lose to Garcia, he probably still to be the most popular fighter. He's controversial. You know, he's a fun TV. He's must-see TV. What would he say next? More than what 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 punch would he throw next? 
He's the only fighter out here seeing the line with superstars, Dave Loaf, Meek Mill, 50 Cent. You know, he's with the A and B listers. So it is what it is. We gonna